Recently, YouTube released a new feature that's still a bit hidden called research. For the first time ever, you can get extremely helpful insights directly from your channel dashboard. Click on analytics and then research. You get to study your viewers and your competitors' viewers and create content that fill the gaps. That's exactly what we're going to do in this video. Don't forget to subscribe and share if you like it. So look, you can now search across YouTube, explore any topics and search terms. And next here, you have your viewer searches. Now you're shown uh, not just generally across YouTube, but what your current users are searching for. Here you're shown terms that are relevant to your channel based on what your viewers and viewers of channels like yours are looking for. Look at that. So let's just take a quick look. It says teacher, entrepreneur, a voice changer, Amazon affiliate, health insurance, OBS. So to me, as you can probably imagine, it's a pretty big spectrum. And if I keep searching for, and you'll notice that uh, right now it's based on United States, India, and three more countries, and it's in all searches. And I'm interested in exploring content gaps. So crab legs, no idea what that is. YouTube earning webinar. Uh, so here's a content gap. So what it means is a content gap is a way of measuring what views are searching for and the results they find. A gap means viewers cannot find any results for their searches, uh, where they cannot find an exact match, where they cannot find relevant videos. Uh, for example, the content's old or low quality, and that's where you can come in uh, to fill that gap. So here it's indicating that the search volume is high. If you produce that content right now, uh, you might have a pretty good opportunity to win viewers and how to share screen on Zoom. So there's a content gap here and let me keep looking. So some of this is definitely my sweet spot. Um, podcasting, that's pretty general. Zoom one whiteboard. Now there's a new feature. There's a new release from Zoom whiteboard and I really want to publish that one as soon as possible. How to host a Zoom meeting, tutorial for beginners, small business ideas, how to invest in your 20s, uh, medical insurance. So great. All right, let's see what is next. And I can also filter based on geography. All searches, content gaps only. This will give me a priority, for instance, on what I need to focus on next. No idea what that is. <laughs> Voice changer and email verification code. That's also pretty general. Zoom chat. All right, that's interesting. Like what you can or cannot do. And yeah, what do you think? And here is saved. So if something I really want to do, like if I go through this right now, I might approach Zoom chat, uh, generally a webinar and Google Meet, Zoom background, and if I have selected something and go to save and here is something I saved, go to Google Trends. Now it's showing me in the past 12 months worldwide where I can search for United States, for instance, if I choose to and see where the conversation is, um, where people are asking about uh, whiteboard in Zoom. So look, related queries, how to open, how to write, how to use uh, whiteboard and Zoom meeting, whiteboard pen, and there's some additional ones, how to get whiteboard, how to use it. Fantastic. See, just like that in a few minutes, now I have ideas uh, without paying for anything else and just getting insights right from YouTube. So please let me know what you think of this approach. Uh, what you have found from your channel because I'd love to know that and also tell your friend, your colleague about it. I'm also listed in the description for us to connect and learn more about each other. Until next time. Bye.